Hey guys, it's the Disco Spider, and you're probably wondering, first, who the heck am I, and second, where the heck is JTunes? Well, JTunes cannot be here right now because he's actually in the middle of trying to find the lost city of Atlantis, so he picked me to sub in for him for this installment of Toon News. And if you're wondering who I am, I am you know, the Disco Spider as I try to get people to call me. I run this YouTube channel, Disco Spider, and it really is just me reviewing cartoon and animated movies. Anything that I'm interested in and I want to talk about, then I'll talk about it. Um, I also do DVD and Blu-ray reviews as well. I am a DVD collector, so that's kind of why he picked me to sub in for him today, since I do know my fair shareness of DVDs. If you want to check me out, want to check out my YouTube channel, hopefully there's going to be a link in the description. Just search up Disco Spider, I'll be there. Like I said, I review you know, cartoons and animated movies. If you like JTune stuff, then hopefully you'll like my stuff. But I digress. Today we are going to talk about, you know, of course, DVDs. Um, I think most of the two news are about DVDs, uh, which is great because I like DVDs. I collect DVDs. And uh, a little disclaimer is I live in Canada, so if I try to compare prices, what you know, it says a price, so I'll be like, you know, I think it's actually going to be this price. It's mainly going to be Canadian prices for me. I might, like, talk about American prices since I do know a little bit about it, but mainly for any Canadian viewers out there, this will be this episode will be dedicated to you and, you know, the Canadian prices. Um, a little perspective, I guess, for the Americans is that normally a animated Blu-ray would cost about 25 bucks, 24 bucks or something, and then, like, say an Adventure Time season DVD would be, like, $21, $22. So it's it's almost the same, but a little a little more expensive. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. So, the first DVD we have today is Duckman the Complete Series. Now, I've never seen Duckman. I really, like, I've, I've been meaning to check out this show for a while, and I did really want to get the DVDs, but they're released in, like, they're, they're, they're separated into two DVDs. Volume 1 has the first two seasons, and Volume 2 has the last two seasons. Or at least I think that's the complete series. Maybe there's more. Um, and I don't think they real they have like a like a DVD box set of the complete series. Maybe they do. Maybe they don't. I don't know. But like on Amazon where I live, like uh, in Canada, it is very expensive. Not very expensive, but it's like thirty bucks. And I don't want to pay like sixty bucks for you know a show that I've never actually seen. So here. On February 6th, we are getting the complete series of Duckman for what it says to be 28 bucks. Now, if it actually is 28 bucks, that's a pretty good price. There was like 79 episodes, which is a lot for 30 bucks. It is worth it if you like Duckman. And I am guessing that it's going to have 8 discs because, you know, there's like 79. And, you know, you, you can like put a bunch of episodes together or something. Uh, but it's probably going to be maybe 9 or 10 discs at the most, but it should be relatively short to 8 discs, um, hopefully. Maybe maybe I'm completely wrong, I don't know. Uh, another thing to note is the cover is plain, which I don't mind plain covers, as long as they have at least some artwork, that'd be nice. But here, it's weird because, you know, the, the, the character Duckman is yellow, and the background is also yellow, so it's yellow on yellow, which is really weird. I don't know why they, they, they could have just chosen a different color, you know, a color that isn't, you know, part of Duckman, because there's only one thing on this DVD besides, the t you know, the title and you know, words, and that's Duckman. So you could have chosen a completely different color. You could have chosen purple, so it would look weird or something. Just not the color that Duckman is. It's... It, I don't know, it's weird. I mean, you can see Duckman, but it's yellow on yellow, and that, that, that's just weird. But that's just a minor nitpick here. So, yeah, um, I don't know if there's going to be bonus features. There, there should be a website that, uh, you know, says everything about this DVD. I don't have the website up, um, so check it out. But I'm hoping for bonus features. I don't know if the, the original DVDs did have bonus features, uh, but I'm guessing at least some. If they're going to go through all this trouble to make a DVD of a TV show that was on like 30 or 20 years before, you know, then at least have some bonus features. It doesn't have to be that much, but at least some. So yeah, uh, that's Duckman, the complete series, February 6th. I am probably going to pick it up just because, you know, I want to watch Duckman. Um, if it's, if it's for a good price and I'll, 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 I'll get it, but yeah, I'm pretty excited for this release. Um, so February 6th for what it says to be 28 bucks. Next one is something that I'm very excited for, DuckTales, Woohoo, as the first episode is called. Uh, it's the DVD, and it's going to come out December 12th, which is this year, and it's going to be what it says to be 15 bucks. 
I like DuckTales. I like this new DuckTales. Sure, it might not be as amazing as the original DuckTales, but the original was so great. I really love the original, but this one is still really close. Sure, it's not the same. It does have, you know, the main the, the main three, Huey, Dewey, and Louie, are voiced by, you know, adults. You can really tell that they are adults, but... I still think the show is really fun, and I do like the mystery. It's it's kind of like a Gravity Falls knockoff, except it's actually good. So it's it's more inspired than than ripping off here. And luckily, we are getting a DVD of you know an episode of Ducktales. This is the premiere pilot, uh, which is like it's kind of like a movie. It's like 44 minutes long, so it's not like they're just doing an ep a random episode or something. You know, this is a 44 long minute episode, which is the pilot, the original thing to get you you know on track. This is the one episode that you kind of need to see to get the original uh, to get the other episodes but not really and uh, hopefully if this dvd sells well we can get like volume sets or even season sets of ducktales i would really love to get more episodes of ducktales on dvd maybe as a bonus feature they might have another episode probably not if they're thinking about getting uh just doing volume sets um i don't know disney doesn't really do volume sets with their uh shows the the most they have is like gravity falls which they release like two volumes which is like more than half of season one and that's it that's that's all uh i know they they've released um you know, like some of their some of their shows, like premiere pilots on DVD, like Tangled and uh, and what, what what's the the Lion King TV show for preschoolers? I, I forget what it's called, but I know they released that those like, premiere pilot movies on DVD. So this is gonna be similar to that, and I just I just hope there's gonna be more Ducktales on DVD, whether it be volume sets with like six episodes or you know a complete first season or second season or whatever season sets that would be cool if this sells well uh, i don't know and who knows if there's gonna be bonus features i i haven't really seen like i, I don't have any of the other premiere pilot movies by disney on dvd so i don't know if there's gonna be bonus features but i do hope there's bonus features i want to see you know <laughs> just stuff from the new ducktales i really like it i think it's a great show and if you haven't checked it out if you're someone who you know isn't likes the original but it's like you know this doesn't look like something for me i still recommend it. at least watch the first couple of episodes um i feel like it gets like, even better like after for the first episode it kind of isn't that great but then it gets a lot better um so yeah and i definitely will be picking this up i'll tr i'm gonna try and pick it up the day of uh but if not definitely very close to the release date because i'm very excited to get this on dvd i really i really can't wait uh so yeah december 12th for 15 bucks i i do feel like this might be a little bit you know, for in canada uh the other dvds were like 15 bucks but i think in america it might be a little cheaper but who knows who knows um so yeah that was the ducktales Next, we have Scooby-Doo and Batman Brave and the Bold. I know nothing about this DVD. I know that Scooby-Doo has, like, uh... They, they make T... Like, Shrek, uh, straight-to-DVD movies, like, constantly. And I think this might be one of them. I don't know. And this is gonna be a crossover between Batman, the Brave and the Bold. Which, I have never seen that show, so I know nothing about this. Um, I don't know if this, uh, you know, movie or TV special or whatever aired already. Or if it's gonna air... Or if this is just, like, it's gonna be on DVD and maybe in a couple of years gonna be on Cartoon Network or something. I don't know. I know nothing about this. And the release date is January 9th, 2018. Uh, and the price is... We don't know yet. Which, if I had to guess, I'm guessing... For the DVD, it might be... It might be 15 bucks, I'm guessing. Less than 20 bucks. You know, if this was a Blu-ray, I'd say 20 bucks. But for a DVD, it, it can't be 20 bucks. Not, not for something like this, but who knows. Uh, I... Like I said, I know nothing about this. So... Yeah, if if you are a fan of Scooby Doo or Batman the Brave and the Bold and you are excited to get this, then January 9th of uh, twenty eighteen. Uh that's I guess that's all I can really say about this, sorry. And then next one is I think the biggest one, uh, for not really me, but for most people. We are finally getting the complete first season of Steven Universe. It's been like what, four years now? And we are finally getting, like, a season release of this show. Uh, for Adventure Time, it took two years. And a regular show, it took three years. So, it's weird that, you know, four years for Steven Universe Season 1. It, it's, I don't know. If this DVD came out, like, two years ago, or maybe even three years ago, I'd be super excited to get this. But now, I'm like, eh. I used to really like Steven Universe. I loved the first, like, the second season. 
But then after like season, f- especially season four, I drew the line. I that that season was really bad, and I've only I stopped after uh, season five, episode one, because I'm like, this is dumb. I I, I just can't. Uh, um, but I don't know. I'm I have a love hate relationship with Steven Universe. Like, I I'm I'm definitely going to pick this up just so I can watch the the, the show again to see you know if I actually still like it or. Another thing to note here is that the DVD looks like it's going to be in the same style as the Adventure Time season DVDs, where you have, like, a main character on the cover, and then you peel back through the layers and see more of him. Like, for example, season one of Adventure Time, we had Finn on the cover. Then you, uh, you take off the slipcover, and then you have Finn without his hat, which is just all of his hair just flowing around. And then you open it up, and then the episode list has his, uh, his flesh, and then the disc has, like, a skull and brain and all that stuff. So I feel like it, it might be in that style. It looks like it, or maybe they just thought that Steven looked cool in, in, as the cover, which he doesn't. He looks creepy. Uh, so maybe they may do something like that. Maybe you peel it off and Rose will be there in the same, you know, it'll just look just like Steven, except, you know, looking like Rose, uh, like in the same poses or whatever. I don't know. It might They might do something like that, or may, they might just not do that at all. Um, so it says here that it's going to be released on January 30th for 25 bucks. I think 25 bucks is very reasonable for this DVD because keep in mind this season has 52 episodes, which is like 26 episodes, you know, ha- like 26 half-hour episodes, which is a lot. You know, most Adventure Time seasons would have like 13 half-hour episodes, and there would be there'll be like 20-ish dollars, but but this is like <laughs> like more than that. It's like Adventure Time season five, and I'm pretty sure they were in this they were the same. Pre- uh, they're like twenty five bucks as as well as um as Steven Universe season one, uh so yeah I'm I'm gonna pick it up I don't know if I'm gonna pick it up the day of but I will try to I I do want to review this and I do I like I want to see if maybe the episodes or the show is at least the first season is better than I remember uh, or at least good I don't know I, it gets worse after season four like I said bad but you know I don't know. Uh, hopefully we'll see more Steven Universe seasons um, you know, as time goes on. And hopefully we can see more Ad- Cartoon Network season DVDs if this sells well. I really want more of regular show on DVD. And I really want to see a Clarence you know, complete series box set or even just a season one DVD or something. I want more Clarence on DVD. I want those shows. And yeah, I think that's, that's about it for the Cartoon Network shows I want on DVD. But hopefully, if this sells well, we can see more Cartoon Network season DVDs. Besides the Adventure Time ones, of course. And also, it seems like they, they are not going to release a Blu-ray of Steven Universe Season 1. They they might, uh, but from what this says, it it seems not likely, which kind of sucks. I, You know, it, it probably would be like 30 bucks if they did release a Blu-ray. But it's still, you know, even if... The, uh, like, the regular show Season 3 DVD that when they when it came out, like, 2014, did not have a Blu-ray release. And uh, Season 7 of Adventure Time did not have a Blu-ray release. So I feel like they're just kind of getting rid of Blu-ray since no one, I guess, no one really wants them. Although I would prefer to get Steven Universe on a Blu-ray. But, you know, I guess DVD is fine for now. Next up, we have Street Sharks, the complete series. Like Duckman, I have never seen Street Sharks. I know what it is, but I've just never seen it. I All I know is that it's like a ripoff of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and that's it. I am pre- I know that they've released a DVD, a complete series DVD of Street Sharks. So it's weird that they're doing this again. But here it says, January 16th, uh, this DVD will be coming out. 40 episodes on three discs. And uh, it's going to be 20 bucks. And I guess the big thing for some people might be that... This does include the DVDs, but it also has a digital copy, which I'm pretty sure is not on the original DVD release. Which I personally am not a fan of digital. I, I don't hate it. Um, if there's if I would if like uh they gave me a choice if I wanted a digital copy for free with my DVD or Blu-ray, I'd say yeah, sure, but as well, just in case. But but I'm not one to use digital. You know, it's just, it's just I just prefer physical releases, and I like just using the discs. Uh, but anyone who likes digital, then there you go. Uh, so I I don't know much about this. It's probably I, I have a feeling it's gonna be like stacked discs, those three discs, and and there's just gonna be a little slip cover or a slip paper that's like Here, here's your uh, digital code. Um, I don't think there's gonna be anything special. I I doubt it. Or maybe they might just go all out for this DVD since the last DVD I I don't have it yet. Or I I won't. I'm probably not gonna get it ever since this new this new DVD is coming out. But I've it's it's just like stacked discs uh, and uh, nothing special. 
Uh, so maybe they're like, you know what? Let's just just make this DVD release even better. Just just make it just make it you know ten times better or whatever. I don't know. Uh, I just the, the cover art looks pretty cool. I like that. Uh, we have all the main characters here and the street sharks. But yeah, I don't. I, if if you're interested in street sharks, then get it January sixteenth. You know, for twenty bucks. Um. Anyways, if you're into Street Sharks, then get it. And then now, lastly, we have our final DVD for today, for this episode. And this is Miraculous Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir, uh, the first season, which is coming out uh, February sixth. Four discs for twenty bucks. I'm not the biggest fan of Miraculous Ladybug. I've reviewed the show, and I've you know I've seen all of the season one. Even the Christmas special, and I'm just I'm not a fan. Um, I know season two is coming out someday, and I might check it. I might give it another chance, but probably not. But finally, we are getting we're getting a DVD release of season DVD release. I know there's volume sets with like seven or eight episodes, which I'm pretty sure comprises the first season. So you already have it on DVD. But I guess it's cool to have you know the show on you know four discs on DVD. It might they might just like take out all the. Uh, all the DVDs, like all the the volume sets, and put them onto this DVD, but probably not. I don't know. I, I know nothing about these DVD sets. And hopefully, if this DVD sells well, we can get an actual season release of uh, Loud House. I already have volume one. It would kind of suck if they released season one without volume two. So it's like, well, I don't really want to spend extra money on, you know, just getting the same episodes again. But it still would be cool. And then we could get like a season two and all that stuff. Because I, I do still like uh, Loud House, even with like the controversy with uh, the, the creator. I still think it's a great show, and I do want more episodes on DVD, so we can get that. Maybe. I don't know. I don't really know what's happening with Nickelodeon, but maybe we can get you know Harvey Beaks Season 1 on DVD. I'd love to get that show on DVD, which I, I doubt, because no one really cares for Well, Nickelodeon doesn't care for that show, but yeah. So, <laughs> uh, Miraculous Ladybug, if you're interested, Season 1 is coming out February 6th for, on four discs for 20 bucks. So yeah. And that is, you know, all six DVDs that we have for this episode of Toon Hunt. Uh, thank you for JTunes for choosing me to replace you for this episode while you're looking for The Lost City of Atlantis. I'm sorry for anyone who is very annoyed by my voice and by the way I talk and how I stumble on all my words or whatever. Um, hopefully JTunes can be back for next for the next episode. I don't know. Uh, I don't see myself being the permanent host, or at least being a temporary host for much longer, because I'm probably annoying some of you people, so sorry for that. And if for, like, the, the three of you who aren't annoyed by me, then go check out my YouTube channel, Disco Spider. Hopefully there's gonna be a link. Like I said, I review cartoons and movies and anything just animated-related that I like. And I also do DVD reviews and Blu-ray reviews. Um, my next videos coming up are the Justice League Blu-ray sets. And hopefully I'm, I want to review The Lost City of Atlantis, which is another, which is the reason why I chose that excuse for JTunes. I don't know. And uh, yeah, I got some videos planned. And I'd love for you to at least check out my YouTube channel, see if you like it. If you don't, that's perfectly fine. And if you do, please subscribe. So yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm the Disco Spider, and peace out.